के हम जिनकी चाहत में गिनते थे दिन अपनी तस की ने जा के लिए Assalamualaikum. My name is uh, Safir Bharti. I'm sitting right now in uh, Nasser Mission House. I'm uh, actually right ne next to um, uh, Mujib Choudhury. Uh, he's the president of the local Jamaat here. Um, Sir, what's up, Sangitullah? Wa alaikum salam, rahmatullah. Um, how are you? How's everything? Alhamdulillah, fine. Hunt of Ramadan is going very well. That's very good, Alhamdulillah. Could you tell us something briefly about the history of Muslims for Life in Philadelphia, um, and just tell us some brief, um, uh, some brief words about? how it started and everything. Close to a year and a half ago, I went to the National Amla meeting, and over there, Nassim Mahdi sahab, he mentioned that our Jamaat is planning to do something on 9-11, but we don't know really how, what we're going to do, that the whole country of USA will have some understanding. People are hanging the speeches and the memorial. So he mentioned that some Lajna member from some Jamaat wrote to Nasi Mahdi sahab, whatever we do in talking is not going to make any difference. We have to do something like action. So she said that this is the 10th anniversary. So if we plan for 10,000 pints of blood in America under Muslim for life in all at the different Jamaat, they were pretty much hesitant that they won't be able to accomplish it. So he met me, he said, met Hazur, and Hazur said, go ahead, you know, okay, give it a shot. With that, he came the idea, and uh, they were not still sure it's ever going to happen. Anyway, so the things started moving positive. We, in, uh, specifically about Philadelphia, they had the big hopes. Mm. The, not the reason that we, we as, a, as a Jamaat, can raise that many points of blood. But I'm very thankful to Hadil Abdullah sahab, who was our, our guide at that time that we have a possibility that we do something in collaboration with the Red Cross of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And also because during that time, in the Philly Stadium always have a blood drive. Right. So the criteria is that any blood collected between the August 15 to September 15 mm -hmm. will be counted I see. in that 10,000 pint of blood. Uh, wh where uh, where can we find more information about the blood drive? And is there a website that we can go to? And is there some some kind of advertisement for uh, your blood drive this year? Or yes, we have a, a flyer, the same one we have the last year, and we'll continue with that. On the last page, it has the uh, information, which is for the blood drive. It's called MuslimForLife.org. On this, we can get information only about us, but not that where the people can go. If you are in, in Philadelphia, that we have the, the small uh, small uh, brochure, which also have the 800 number for the Philadelphia, and the people, our Qudam, our Lajna member, who want to donate the blood this year, they can call this number, or they can, they can log on this site. Okay. Uh, Missionary Sahib, could you please tell us something about um, the meaning of this verse that's uh, um, enclosed in um, the flyer for Muslims for Life? You know, what does it mean? And to, could you elaborate more about what, what what is the essence of this verse? Okay, definitely. Um, first of all, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa rahmatullah. A'uz billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah Taala says in the Holy Quran that be prescribed for the children of Israel that whosoever killed a person, it shall be as if he had killed all mankind, and whoso gave life to one, it shall be as if he had given life to all mankind. Chapter five, verse thirty-three. In this verse. Allah Ta'ala has told the Muslims that if, first of all, it is that we believe that Islam is a peaceful religion and it protects everybody. That is why in this verse Allah Ta'ala is trying to tell us, Allah Almighty is trying to tell us that whatever we do, it should be for the peace of mankind. Peace of mankind, that's very interesting. Um, how does that relate to our blood drive? 
You know, it is a very interesting thing that blood itself gives life. And that is what the Allah Almighty is trying to tell us here and is giving a message to the Muslim uh, Ummah that it is through blood that we can save lives. And that is basically to actually achieve that goal to save mankind. We are actually uh, proposing this and going forward with this blood drive. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm here with the president of our Philadelphia Jamaat, Najib Allah Chaudhry Sahib. Just give us a little bit of background about the Muslims for Life program, if you would. Muslim of Life program was started last year, especially in Philadelphia. We, in collaboration with the, our Phillies team, and we are here in the Citizen Bank Park now, which they call it also Phillies Stadium. Last year, uh, our effort was very limited because we were not allowed to uh, wear these shirts, not allowed to come in as, as a group. But Alhamdulillah, that this year, with the effort of Madir Abdullah Saab and our good relation with the Red Cross people, we are here in the stadium this year. Last year, we collected uh, close to uh, 1174 pints of blood, and this year, we are, ha we are hoping that the number will go higher this year, inshallah. But this is a collaborative effort from our part. For that purpose, we are having two locations in Philadelphia where we have our advertisement. And also, we are, we are working in the Temple University, in the, in the uh, uh, SEPTA, wherever they have the availability. And by the grace of Allah, that we are making this big advertisement on our radio program, which is 900 AM. These two brothers sitting on my east side, they conduct that program. And for the last few weeks, we are doing all the advertisement possible for the people of the city of Philadelphia to come out. As the, as the more crowd is inside, we are getting close to our end of the, this program because they have the program timing from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and we are pretty much close to that program. Alhamdulillah, we have close to 31 of our volunteers, including Khuddam, Ansar, Lajna, they are working downstairs in, uh, in along with the Red Cross people. So hi, my name is Ahmed Nuruddin. I'm here with Jerry. Your last name is? Moyer. Moyer. Okay, so Jerry, how long have you been working with the Red Cross and what made, inspired you to you know, working this great cause of, of working with the, the blood donations. I've been with the Red Cross for about five years. My brother-in-law did work here and he enjoyed the position. Okay. And it's a very fulfilling position. And he asked me if I could come in um, when I apply for a position and, I, and luckily I did receive it. So. Okay. So now why is the, the blood donation so important? Like, you know, a lot of people kind of, you know, are, are kind of not so enthusiastic about giving and or they may give once and then they might, you might see them for another year. Why is it so important for people to come and give regularly? Well, it absolutely it saves lives and blood affects everyone. Mm -hmm. So at one time in your life you may know someone that needs blood. Yes. And it's a very, very important thing that you can do for someone. Okay. So now, I know that a lot of people are a little leery about giving blood. Some people, there's some bad, you know, bad stigma about it sometimes. And is there anything adverse that can happen to a person's health by giving blood? No, absolutely not. Okay. It's not, and some people have different reactions to it, but the majority of the time, they do very well. So, so it's mostly just a myth that people may be a little nervous or something like that, and then they try to find some excuse not to do it. Right, absolutely. Oh, There's okay. just different ways you can do it, but a lot of people, it's like in their mind, but after they finish, they enjoy it. So the, what is the target for today? A 1,500 goal for today. Okay, so any uh, update of uh, where we are as far as so far? We have so no far? idea. We get the numbers okay. at the end, and we figure everything out, but we're doing very well. Okay, so the, and the blood donations that come in here today, are they going to be shipped all over the country, or...? Yeah, well, they'll be in our area first, and wherever the need is, is where they will sit. Okay, well, look, I thank you very much, man. I appreciate and it. It's thank a great you. effort you're doing, man. God bless you for it. Thank you. Thank Jerry, you. pleasure appreciate meeting you. you guys help, too. Thanks a lot. I hear that recently we just got the news that we're very close to our goal. If not, we have exceeded the 1,500 pints mark. So, alhamdulillah. Oh, just talk about uh, the importance of people giving blood, how important it is to do so on a regular basis, if you will. It is very important that we can give up to 1.6 liter of blood in every in 52 weeks period, 
and it's important for the, the Muslim, the men, the ladies, and everybody, they can give the blood at any time of the year. Only thing they have to wait for, I think, is 120 days, and they can, they can give the blood. In America, we are at the lowest level of last 15 years, the shortage of blood with the Red Cross. They are very happy with our effort, especially as a Jamaat, that what we have done in the city of Philadelphia, they are very appreciative in, in, in this regard. And especially this year, they saw us with our, with our shorts, and now we are a member of the team that who raised, who raised the blood at the Philly Stadium. Alhamdulillah. I know that as a Jamaat, the donation of blood has been like a cause that we have taken up specifically. Has Khalifa Tun Masih commented on the importance of this effort and uh, you know, getting the blood donations? Ha has this been brought to his attention? All the, all the Khulafa has been talking, and especially Khalifa Tun Masih IV, as everybody wearing these shirts, the, the humanity first. To save a life is the first part of, of the humanity. And if we, if we are going to donate the blood, inshallah, that is a big effort from our part. And all the MDs, wherever they are, they should do it to the best of their ability. In, in the Philadelphia, we also have our drives. At the Jalsa Salana, we have our drive. And, and in, in, in the city of Philadelphia, hopefully our last drive is going to be on September 9th at the Red Cross building or the center, that will be the end of our uh, blood drive this year. Alhamdulillah. So, so this is something that we plan to continue on, this effort. We're going to work with the Red Cross and the Phillies organization each year to try to make this event bigger and bigger, inshallah. Yes, we are working along with them. The problem what we face, that because we have a limited time is given from August 11 to September 11. So we have to try our best that because the, as we made the pledge that we're going to raise 1,100 pints of blood this year because this is the 11th anniversary of the 9-11. Yes. So inshallah, we'll do our best in that time span. But yes, we should keep on doing this all year long. Is this your first time giving blood or? First time in about 10 years. Really? Okay, yes. okay. Yes. So are you one of those guys that have really those strong blood cells that they want to keep coming back again and again and again? Yes, they actually told me I had a very high count of iron and it's very good. Oh, okay. So they were able to get a lot of blood from me. I did the double-double for the first time. Oh, that's great, So man. I'm proud to do this to help out the community and the, you know, the world. Yeah. Giving blood. Sure, man. You think you're going to come back again and, and give regularly or? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, God Whether bless you for that. Whether it's here or wherever else you Philadelphia blood drop is in this area, I'll go to it. Yeah, that's beautiful, man, because it's so needed. I've heard numbers that we're like 15 years behind where we should be, wow. you know, as far as donations nationwide. You know what I okay. mean? So that's why it's so great that the Phillies actually do this yes. each year because you know, the, the supplies are so low, you know what I mean? I know they send me notifications all the time in the mail. Okay. Sometimes I respond, sometimes I don't. But, yes. you know, but coming today, it actually lets you see how much is really needed. Yes, if I'm busy or it's not convenient, I won't go, but if it is, yes. I'll be there. Yeah, yes, yeah. Very I mean, the, colors, the Phillies colors are red, man, so we gotta bleed red. We all bleed yes. red, right? <laughs> no matter if they're in last place or first place, I yes. love my Phillies. <laughs> yes, yes, that's wonderful, man. Let me just tell you a little bit about the Muslims for Life program. Sure. Like you see a lot of us wearing these t-shirts yes. and it has yes. Muslims for Life on there. And what it is is that, you know, after 9-11, you know, a lot of the Muslims got a bad rap, you know, as like, yes. you know, because, yeah, because of what happened. Many of, you know, people have, have no, you know, support whatsoever for that type of activity. We don't believe in that. It's not Islam. So what we, we want to do is each year around 9-11, come out and actually help get involved with the blood drives and show that, look, these people have shed blood saying that that was in the name of Islam. Okay. But okay. we're going to go and do make, help people donate blood to save lives around that same time to show that as Americans, as Muslims, we're all about, you know, peace and love and brotherhood and sharing. 
just like everybody else, you know, yes. like the rest of the Philly fans. Yes. Because I see you're a big Philly fan, oh, man. I have. My yeah. whole family is. My whole, we, we, we bleed red for the Phillies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you from Philadelphia? No, I'm actually from the suburbs. Narstown? Narstown? Okay. Okay. Yes. My mom, works in, my mom works in Narstown. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm also a volunteer firefighter for that area. And oh. I was at 9 11 to help clean up. Really? So wow. I was there at Ground Zero. I've seen it. And uh huh. I know, I know what everybody's going through, and the, the community, the mother, I know what they're going through. I mean. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So that's why you say, well, look, you know, these people claim to, like, again, have shed blood. Yes. We're going to give blood, yes. you know, for, this, for the noble cause of supporting our fellow Americans, our brothers and sisters. Yes. You know what I mean? It's, and it's, the, th the thing about it is, regardless of what our religions are, you know, what our backgrounds are. We're still all Americans. We have to yeah. live here together. We have to yeah. work together. Yeah. So, you know, it's like God has put us here. We're all we have yes. is each other. You know what yeah. I mean? So we got to look Very out much. for each other, man. Yes. Well, thank you. No, thank you so good. much, thank man. Thank you. Thank and you. And God bless you for your donation. God bless you, too. God bless you, too, All brother. right. Yes. Thanks a lot, yes. man. Peace, now. Have a good day. You, too, man. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. This is our brother Abu Harun Sahab, who accepted MD a few years ago. Is actively involved in all the activities of the Jamaat and especially for this um, um, Muslim for life. He's here over with us and he's going to say a, a, a few words about his experience, how he felt working along with the Red Cross people today. As far as uh, the blood drive, I realized that we definitely need to be part of that, especially in the African American community. I think that we need to be more involved in this kind of type thing. And even some of the, the other religious uh, organizations, organizations that, that they don't seem to participate. And if they are, we're not hearing of it. And I think they, some of the people need to really take time to uh, perform in this effort. Asalaamu Alaikum. I'm here with one of our missionaries, uh, Salman Sheikh Sahib. And uh, I just wanted to ask you, what are your thoughts about the Muslim for Life program and this effort to gather these blood donations? First of all, I'm very thankful to God Almighty that uh, today uh, we had the chance and, uh, uh, to come here and actually take part uh, in the blood drive, uh, which we are uh, working with Red Cross. As you can see, we are sitting in a stadium today, and you know that all the people come here to see the game. They do not join the game. They, they are there to watch the game, and after the game, they'll just leave and they go back to their homes. But the kind of game that we are playing here is a game of life. That is the thing we are trying to raise awareness of to all people, all faiths, uh, people of all faiths, that Muslims are actually, uh, they want uh, to play this game of life. We want to give back to people, which is life. And uh, as you all know, that if it is written in the Holy Quran, that if you save a person's life, it is as if you have saved the whole humanity. Yes. So that is the kind of awareness we are trying to achieve. And we are trying to reach out and change the perception of the American people that Muslims are all about love and peace. Love for all, hatred for none. This was said by the third caliph of uh, uh, the Ahmadiyya community. So, uh, alhamdulillah, uh, we are very successful with this and uh, may Allah bless our efforts. In that alhamdulillah, moment. alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, hi, my name is Ahmed Nuruddin. I'm here with Mr. John Duffin. Nice Good to meet, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. So, tell me, what brings you out today for the blood drive? Well, uh, blood drives are very important, mm. and I like that, you know, volunteer my services. And yes. Uh, of course, I'm not giving blood today. I'm working, but I give yes. blood three, four times a year. Oh, well, that's fantastic. I mean, it's something that's really needed. I mean, I've heard the numbers that we're like 15 years behind. And def uh, so you guys, so your friends are... are <laughs> Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Yes. So I was just saying that I've heard numbers that like we're like 15 years behind in donation levels for the, you know, in the United States. And uh, so what particularly 
you know, inspired you to come out today with this event? I mean, how did you find out about it? And well, of course, I work for the Phillies, and okay. uh, I like to you know, do my share. Yes, yes. And it's a uh, it's good to see all the volunteers and the Red Cross people and, yes. and and all the donors who come. And it's a, it's a very good day. Yes, yes. So a lot of people are really. You find that people are nervous about giving blood, or no. are really excited? No, I, I think they're excited to give blood, and also they're excited to be at the ballpark. Yes, yeah. A lot is. of people don't have a chance to come into the Hall of Fame. Uh, yes, club here. Okay, and it's a first-time experience for them, and I think they enjoy it. Yeah, I know. So that really takes the nervousness away from oh. giving blood. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I know I saw the championship trophy down there earlier. Oh, good. Yeah, a lot of people were able to take pictures with that and so forth. So, um, so when you so during the year, do the Phillies do a lot in promoting the you know the effort to give blood throughout the year? Well, I think we have at least one annual blood drive, but okay. we do have a lot of charity events here, a lot of charity walks. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Duffin, and God bless you, and I hope, you know, we reach our goal. I mean, I know I think we have a goal of like 1,500 yes. pints of blood today. You think we're going to get there? Well, I know there's over 1,000 uh, <laughs> pints already given. Really? All and, right. And, that, and I had heard that about maybe an hour ago. So okay. Maybe we are going to reach that 1,500 goal. Yes, I really hope yes. so. I thank you so much, Mr. Okay, Duffin. Well, thanks for having me. All right, have a great day. <laughs>
All right, thank you, Joe. Thank you so much for, for your time, Thanks all for your questions, me. everything. And hopefully, we'll look forward to working with you soon yes. in the future. Thanks again. Assalamu alaikum to Allah. I'm sitting next to uh, Abdul C. Saif of Philadelphia Jamaat. C. Saif, I'm sorry. Alaikum salam. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. Uh, how was your experience so far donating blood today? It was good because Islam teaches us if you save life, you save. If you save one life, you save the entire ma uh, mankind. I see. And what? And could you tell us, you know, what what uh, motivated you to get out of bed this morning? Uh, it went again to the principles of Islam because Islam urges us to save, to give life. So if I give blood, it's like saving life. So this is the teaching the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and teaches us how we should be able to practice. So, and then you keep calling me and the president will keep calling me and I was like, you know, I need to come and donate my blood, you know. Was this your first time? This is my first time in the United States, yes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.